Hello there guys and girls, welcome to another quick tip. This one is probably the quickest quick tip of all the ones I made so far. It's just a simple little trick that I think I haven't mentioned in any other tutorial yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, my memory is kinda like Swiss cheese at this point. Tasty. The technique is similar to what I've shown you in episode 9. The depth of field in Rockstar Editor can be locked on two characters, which is great, but sometimes you may want to show moving objects in a camera shot, which means there is nothing to lock the depth of field on to. The smaller the object, the harder it will be to have it perfectly in focus. Let me show you an example on how to fix this issue. Let's say you want to show a spinning hatchet flying around. First, you spawn the hatchet with object spooner. To make it spin, you apply the task sequence, snap to rotation to it and activate the relative tick box. If you now change the value for the Y, the hatchet starts rotating around its own axis. So now you also learn how to make objects rotate as a side effect. You could use the same idea for a nuclear missile that spins around its own axis. Now to be able to have a better focus on the object in the Rockstar editor, you spawn any pad from the list and attach it to the hatchet. <laughs> Just for safe measure, you should give the pet the looped animation called Stand Still, Arm Spread and make them frozen in place so they don't move. Kinda like your girlfriend in bed. Also, deactivate the collision on that person. The most important setting, of course, is to make the pad invisible. To wrap things up, I will attach the hatchet to the golf cart, which I've placed here conveniently enough. Now I'll use Michael to drive it, however I need to set the card's opacity to 0% and make Michael invisible too. Now I can drive around and it will look like the hatchet flies around. Don't forget to press F1 to record that shit. In Rockstar Editor you can now position the camera so that it captures the hatchet nicely. Now you can set the depth of field to the invisible pad. While you're at it you can also follow the driver of the caddy, which will keep the hatchet perfectly in frame at all times. Now you don't have to fiddle around with smooth blend markers or manual depth of field settings at all. A real time saver. If you were to follow the invisible attached pad, the camera would wiggle because of the rotating hatchet. So don't do that. Or do that, I'm not your mom. I wanna do a shout out to Sergio who helped me with the rotating hatchet thing. Pay his channel a visit with the link in the video description. And that's about it for this quick tip. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Renova over.